it's chemistry and you are watching damn science. In this video, we will understand what is electron affinity, what are the trends in the electron affinity in the periodic table and what are the factors affecting electron affinity values. Let's start by understanding what is electron affinity. The energy change occurring when a gaseous atom accepts one electron is called an electron affinity and the symbol of electron affinities is Ea. Now let's understand that with the example of an chlorine. Now chlorine in its gaseous state of an atom when accepts an electron it turns out to be an singly negatively charged chlorine atom and the energy change involved here is called the electron affinity denoted by the symbol Ea. Now when atom of an element may gain n number of electrons, maybe 1 or if an atom turns out to be 2 minus charged atom, 2 minus charged ion, then it gains 2 electron on its single atom and so on. So the values, the energy values during this process will be different. So there are different values for each electron affinity and the first electron affinity denoted by the symbol Ea1 is the enthalpy change when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous ions with a single negative charge under standard condition. Now, the energy change, the enthalpy change involved with this process is going to call be first electron affinity denoted by the symbol Ea1. Now suppose if we take an example of oxygen this time, oxygen in its gaseous form is going to gain one electron and is going to form an oxygen ion with one minus charge in the gaseous state under standard conditions. If you want to calculate the enthalpy change, it's difficult to measure the change in the energy with one atom and one electron. So here to make it measurable we take one mole of oxygen atoms in gaseous state and one mole of electrons are added to each of these atoms to form and one mole of gaseous ions with a single negative charge and the energy involved is called first electron affinity which is measured in kilojoules per mole. So for example this value of electron affinity, first electron affinity is equal to minus 142 kilojoules per mole. Now, if oxygen gains an electron, it is going to gain one extra electron on its outer shell and that is the reason with this one extra electron, we give it a charge of minus 1 and as this gaining of electron and an energy is released. Why? Because there is an attractional force between this extra electron and nucleus. So the energy is released out and that's why the energy change is exothermic with a negative value of electron affinity and electron affinity, first electron affinity for most of the atoms is going to turn out to be exothermic only so the values will be negative. So now let's understand what is the second electron affinity Ea2 this it's denoted by Ea2 symbol and that's the enthalpy change when one mole of electron is added to one mole of gaseous singly charged ions to form one mole of gaseous with a charge 2 minus ions under standard conditions. Now that shows that we already have an atom with one negative charge and extra electron. Say for example oxygen with minus 1 charge which we have already seen. Now if we add one electron that is one mole of electrons are added to one mole of oxygen minus 1 ions. Then this ion is again going to get added to the outer shell but now the thing is that 
this extra electron is added to already existing negatively charged ion so it's going to repel the incoming electron and now the obviously the ion turns out to be a 2 minus ion but this value of energy change to form a 2 minus ion charge electron affinity 2 of any other element or oxygen is going to be an endothermic value with a positive charge. In case of oxygen, it is 844 kilojoules per mole. So, it's going to happen in most of the elements where if we add a second electron to already existing minus one charged ion, it's going to repel the incoming electron and so the incoming electron is added with requires an energy because this process requires energy the reaction the process is endothermic and the energy changes therefore with a positive value and in the same way even the third electron affinity is also going to be an endothermic value that is the electron affinity value is going to be a positive value so if we calculate an overall energy change where we add two electrons to an atom of oxygen which will turn out to be an oxygen atom with two minus charge then we need to add the values of electron affinity first and the second electron affinity and that's why if we calculate the same thing for oxygen then we get a value with minus 142 plus 844 this gives plus 702 kilojoules per mole that shows that an overall change of turning one mole of oxygen atoms to one mole of two minus oxygen ions is going to be an endothermic process with the value of plus 702 kilojoules per mole now let's understand the trends in the electron affinity across a period in the periodic table. Now here we can see that there are various values given to the elements with minus 60 kilojoules per mole. Beryllium shows zero value. The reason being is that that the value of electron affinity of even the first electron affinity is positive for beryllium most of the time it is negative for other elements but beryllium it's, it's still endothermic value we need to use up the energy to add one electron to first electron to the atom of a beryllium so we have shown it here zero boron has a value of minus 27 carbon minus 122 oxygen with minus 141 and minus 328 if we see overall overall then if you have a look at the group last group of periodic table group 7 with fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine we can see another trend chlorine have minus 349 bromine with minus 325 and iodine with minus 295 kilojoules per mole if we try to understand the trends across the period and down the group we can see that an average increase in the exothermic value of the electron affinity across the period is seen with some exceptions in between now we cannot fully explain this uh, trends but there is an overall increase in the electron affinity values which is exothermic value and down the group we can see that the value increases from bottom to top or you can say that the electron affinity decreases down the group again there is some exception but overall we can see that the electron affinity increases across the period and electron affinity decreases down the group with few exceptions now if we have a look at the value of fluorine now that is supposed to be highest but it is lesser than chlorine the reason being is that the fluorine is the smaller atom 
compared to chlorine in that case because of the electrons many electrons present nearby to the nucleus it repels the incoming electron because of this repulsion the value of fluorine is less compared to the value of chlorine so again there is an exception of fluorine down the group also but the overall trend can be mentioned as shown here the factors affecting electron affinity the first factor is nuclear charge nuclear charge in the sense how many proton number do we have now across the period we know that the proton number increases as the proton number increases the attraction for the outer electron towards nucleus is going to increase and that's why it becomes easier if the electron number is greater or nuclear charge is greater so with higher nuclear charge the electron affinity value will be increasing that's why across the period the electron affinity increases next is the distance of the outer electron from the nucleus now this factors are similar to the factors affecting the ionization energy which you can see in another video on the same channel one of the factor is distance of the outer shell from the nucleus now reason is that the incoming electron is gained on the outer shell of an atom now if this outer shell is farther from the nucleus it gets difficult for an electron to be gained that's why if the distance increases or if you can say that the size of the atom increases size of the atom increases electron affinity value decreases so here the distance of the outer shell from the nucleus also matters the third factor is shielding effect now shielding effect means that in an atom how many inner shells or how many electrons in between the outer shell and the nucleus is present because that's going to hinder the attraction of the incoming electron towards the nucleus if more number of shells shielding effect is more electron affinity is going to be less that's the reason that shielding effect also matters and down the group the electron affinity decreases for the same reason because if we go down the group the size of the atom increases and the inner shells also keeps on increasing if we go down the group that's the reason that electron affinity decreases down the group so these are the main points which you need to know about electron affinity its trends and the factors